Okay, moving. Oh, that's a feral. This could end badly now. Come on, give me that. Come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, I'm down. First death. First death of the game. Okay. Welcome back to Beck Square Gaming, guys. We are on day five of Scottish Bex's solo run. We are on Alpha 21 and we are doing it with no mods and our nomad difficulty. Let's see if she can make it through. And D, right, perfect. So we know this is up a level, but let's get it. done that one I don't oh, know maybe not and I know it's done and I dismantle that not dismantle but mark and the markers off so there's no confusion I think having them on I feel it kind of <laughs> I would say ruins the immersive gameplay but um it's graphics and it's zombies I'm not sure how um feel that is uh really but you know what i mean not sure where i'm gonna go hit today i'm tempted to go over there even though i know underground there is a nightmare but i could do the top layer really to be honest did i actually go in there no because it was the um that was the camping thing didn't think there was going to be anything I really would want in there at the moment. Okay, look. Eh, let's do it. Here now, let's just... You never know. locked so we get up this way Oops, I'm going here maybe there's a church in here so how do you get oh it's up there That sounds like a... Well, I want that. We're going down for that. Oh, the feathers. Oh. Absolutely. Thank you, game. Up in here, let's have yeah, usually right. So the question is how do we get inside from here? There's gonna be a drop yeah, there's gonna be a drop point in there. Yeah, I really don't want to party, but we're going to do it. Uh -uh. Well, spaces I don't want to go like with this is there is nowhere for me to run. 
I'm going to use my old hatch trick, which I think quite a lot of people I've seen do use this as well as me. That is that trick. Now, it's not actually going to work properly because these guys can uh, jump. So if I do that, that should stop them doing it. Really did. Let's give that a quick repair. It's corpse out of the way. Okay. Time, nothing exciting. <laughs> well, that screams I'm gonna get you. Yeah, it does. try not use this too much because I feel like we're uh, slightly abusing game mechanics when we do this trick but at the same time not necessarily if zombies are that dumb that you could do that then I don't also at the same time part of me is like well maybe that's intentional don't see why it's a bad thing and at this early on where I don't have any gear or anything of use it's yeah I kind of feel like it's my only way of staying alive to be honest so Um, before I go there, I want to go up here. a few things off. Hatches. Baby, come on. All right, Jesse, enough, baby. We'll deal with the dog. Something is going on. Come on. 
and stamina. This guy does not want to die. Wait, go into the old trusty. Really? How many hits is this guy going to take? Well, all right, he just did not bloody want to die. <laughs> so let's see what we've we got in here. Do we have anything useful? I always need to remember to hit the pictures. I'm not very good for remembering to do that, to be honest. Ooh, that was schematics. The book. Okay, exploding stuff. Ooh, we like things that explode. Exploding rooms. Oh, it's getting dark. Yes, I don't really need it, but I could take the cloth, I suppose. I don't really need anything that's... I don't particularly do that. I don't... I'm not someone that kind of fusses over the, um... clothing in the game I know a lot of people do I know a lot of people like to get their exact look down and I really yeah I, 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 I don't I mean I think if they started to um make it so you could make them look I know they've got a couple of mods that you can do that with but in general make it look like other things I would be more interested uh... all the way back to here. Oh, I didn't smash the picture behind the desk. Alright guys, hi! Oh, he's might get through it. Let's see, he looks like he might glitch through it. She's down. She's down. Nope, no, she's not. She's getting back up. And she's down. Okay, so we're gonna repair a few things. I know there's something else moving around in there. I heard it. There it is. She's down. Okay. Uh, feeling better. Ah. And that is why you smash the pictures. <laughs> See, I almost missed that. Not that I've got enough lock pets to do this. And I'm not going to lie, I, I don't want to stand here bashing the safe in. Yeah, no, I'll come back for it. I don't. I'm not sure. Yeah, no, I don't have the patience for that right now. And I don't have the right tools to get into it, so. Okay, um... Oh, hello. Gun parts. Okay, um... Ah, the final room, that's why. So many things in it. I didn't even, didn't even dawn on me that I was like, oh, there's so many things in here. It's the final room! It's the final... Right. 
Let's do this. Uh, ooh, that was an electrician tool. Was indeed, it was indeed. That's another axe mod. Excellent. So that's going to be handy. Um, oh, so let's see what I get up here. First aid stuff, all these goods. Our parts. Ooh, wrench quality one. Crafting tools. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna have to pack that, aren't I? Oh, that's gonna take me forever. Looks like some shale. Ammo. Right, what's this gonna be? Five thousand. Uh, we're in for a long haul, guys. The reason I'm willing to do this with the chests and, and not the wall safe is I've broken into wall safes before and found a piece of three pieces of paper um, for all the time you spend, whereas your reinforced chest that's part of your loot end run usually will have good loot in it, so it's usually worth spending the time hacking it. Alright, so we're through, let's see what she's got. Ooh, level 5, nice. Ah, uh, the ability to make a burning sh oh, very and some more lock picks and some healing bandages. Hello, one of them for sure. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the um safe now that I've got some. Right, what have we got? Oh, pipe bomb. Some ammo. Let's see. Again, it was alright. It was a pipe bomb. I wouldn't have said it was worth so many lock picks. Okay, so there's gotta be a way in there. Oh no, that's the way I came through. Okay. Um something up there. There's something up there. I saw that on my way back. Ooh, first aid supplies. Let's not miss that. And Can I scrap some of this because I don't need everything right now? Oh, the recall. Okay. So we can head out from here. Button. Oh. Um. Daylight. Okay. So we can let's do this the quick way. I know I could go round, but I'm gonna for ease of getting in and out next time. Well, we're at one o'clock. We've got time to do something else. Let's go. Do this house. I don't think we'll get all of this house done, but we can always smash our way out through somewhere if we need to. And find a way in. Going this way. Of course, straight down to the basement. That that's how I party. Isn't that how we all party? Yeah, hess hess. Oh, 
Oh crap, he's... something just broke out here and it was maybe not the way you were meant to go in but okay there's now <laughs> well there we go level seven Or something when I don't see something. No, 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 no. There's a lot of mobs down there for a starter room. This must not be the way it's intended to go. Okay, let's move. I don't want to blow too many arrows because I want to keep as many as I can for Horde Knight. I also don't want to die. Round, move round, move round, move round. Okay, does not want to go down, does he? He took some amount of a kick in. I think I think we've kind of ended up going in a way that was not intended. Um, I think that was normally a. Yeah, I don't like the fact that something might come after me for this direction. Where is this guy? Did not get that up in time. Well, this is going to end badly. Move. That was a pretty headshot. Okay. I really want stuff that's in here, but I'm I'm now paranoid because I've not gone the right way around the building that I'm gonna somehow get jumped by stuff that I didn't even know was there. Alright, let's Oh bicycles, yes. I really need one of those. We'll look at taking one of those ASAP. Nice. Not that I massively need one right now, but Ooh. Let's get this up so we can see better. And an engine. That is great. Always good to get a head start on the engines. Okay. Paper, the usual. Can get murky water there, which is a bit disappointing. 
This screams of yeah. Gonna come party? Another loot bag. Ah, that's cool. No food. Part of me is like, I maybe want to head back and get that engine back. But another part of me is like, wait a minute. leg over there. Let's see if we can creep round. Let's see, can I this is gonna take a few turns too high. I think I can get oh there is there head protected head it is as well. The, the, their chair was protecting our head. That was annoying. Although Harry Leather. That looks like that's a way out if I need to go out. This actually might have been the initial way in, to be honest. I would say that's what this was. I would say that was the initial way in, and then you come in here. And then up here. Okay. Apparently there was massive dinner party going on here. Is that a body or is that a zombie? I think that may be a zombie. Nope, it's the body. The guess was wrong, but you know what? I would rather be wrong and lose one arrow than get jumped and lose everything. Well, maybe round from there. We'll see. Bag. I really want a headlamp. Can I have a headlamp game? I have like a headlamp. I would really appreciate a headlamp. Headlamp would be nice. I'm getting lots of ammo, but then I forgot I got that um, looter book, didn't I? Okay, moving. Oh, that's a feral. This could end badly now. Come on, give me that. Come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, I'm down. First death. First death of the game. Okay. I want my 
back, back, back. Still at my corpse. Can't tell. No, it doesn't look like it. Well, that's one way to fix your hunger and thingy issues, isn't it? this day, buddy. my intended intention there. Um, I hope we're not going to have too many other ferals. Fuck. Dog. Technically someone can come from behind me here. That is wrong, man. Right, dog. Right there. Well, we got a feral and we got a dog. This is not a fun house. So far. And we have had our first death game. I like to try average. Try keep deaths at least under one per seven days. But uh, it doesn't always work that way. I've had my death for the seventh day. I can try live now to the next one. But horde. First horde is always the hardest in terms of survival. So that is a lot of books. Thing with being solo is you're not worried about keeping books for anybody else. All you're thinking is, oh, books, I would like that, thank you. Another, yes, boiled meats and yucca juice. some good good loot there. We're going this way. I don't know is the honest answer. Um that is how much loot have and I got I should have a Fair par 20 or 30 leather, but I can't remember how much you actually need to do the... I'm getting too leather for this, but I'm going to take it because I know you need leather for a lot of different things. Like the bike seats and stuff, so... It's been an interesting one. I think, um... Expected to die. I actually am surprised I didn't die in the first place we went into. 
and I expected my first death to actually come from starvation simply because we were struggling so much to begin with. I genuinely am surprised that I made it to day five. I, I, I really am. It's got a lot of nice books in it. I'm really... I mean, if nothing else, all these books has been fantastic. gonna head back soon I'll not get this this one completed before nightfall and I do not want to take on a final room in night it's not not going to be advisable mm. nothing behind that Oh, it's going to go through the spikes. Nice. I see, it could come back around behind me here. This is where we have to be careful. Ooh, I was in his hit range. I shouldn't have been. We're at 8 o'clock and yeah, we're not getting through the rest of this game at this place before then, so I'm taking it. Oh crap. Oh, he hits hard. I'm not going to comment about him dying on the toilet. I'm not going to comment about him dying on the toilet. Three odd bleeding when I attack. Okay, um, I want to bring some of this home. Um, mm -mm. I need. I eat that actually. I shouldn't have eaten. Oh, well, no, actually, no. Should I keep my. Maybe it wasn't the ideal thing to be there. Um, I don't really want to scrap them, I'm going to have to. Um, I've got tons of short iron pipes near this. Scrap string. I don't want to scrap anything. Um. Right. I am now officially low on space, and I think I really need to be getting going. One more room. Goes up to the basement. Attic, even basement. Okay, we're gonna get out of here because it is actually getting late, and I think getting out of here is a wise idea. Get back to base. We're not too far from base, so it's, I think what I want to do is start here.
quickly get this done before nightfall. That allows me to start working in this general direction. So I can start on this and do this during nightfall then. already hear stuff moving around out there which I don't like what it is what it is that is close we're only at 11 o'clock and it's and we've got something close to us already this is gonna be a long night Mm, depending what it is, I'd be tempted to go out and take it out, but if it's a wolf or a bear... I'm not sure I want to mess with it. Sure, but I don't see it. There it is. Glowy red eyes? I couldn't tell. I can always do it, but use the base. Far away to shoot. Okay. Well, if he's too far away to shoot, he's too far away to bug us. It's my golden rill. Now we need to go up. That doesn't look right. Did I not put a block in the corner? Let me up. Corner. Round it out. Yeah, he did, and just not all the way over. Quickly do that. The only downside to an underground base is there's a lot of digging, but the digging gives you so much stone and the clay for all your cobblestone reinforcement of your base. So it's it has its advantages. Let's 
Sorry, I thought I heard something. It must have been the background noise in the soundtrack. Although what I will say, I did discover doing creative mode, is the soundtrack itself has zombie whispers and haze in it. And that surprised me because I... I did not realise that and there's been a few times I've thought I've heard a zombie gone hunting for it, not being able to find it and then thought I'm hearing things. I'm not hearing things. It's in the actual soundtrack. Right, something's seen me. Time to get up and do the last. Where is he? Oh crap. Give a mini horde. This is not going to end well. How did you get in? You should not have been able to get in. This is not going to end well. She's in. She's down. She's in. Yeah, yeah, my armor's damaged, I know. He's down. Good lesson for Horde Knight. Let's put another layer on. I got a wandering horde. That's, you know. He's in. He's in. He's down. He's down. He's down. Good practice for Horde, actually. Um... And I know you can swing between there. Yes, she's down. Bag look bag. Ooh, stone axe, mother fiber. Okay, well, that told me something very important. And that was that I need to go up another layer because things were jumping over. So to survive Horde Night, I'm going to need to put another layer on. And that's okay. That's that, that Horde has taught us that valuable lesson. torch up here so I can actually see what I'm blooming doing. A little bit of repair work. Wires. Back up. Where is it? Where is it? Where is my safe? Safe. Yep. 
you can hit between these. I'm just not done it. In Clearly, I'm out of practice because I'm hitting the blocks instead of hitting him. There we go. See, we've had mountains of stuff come at us. And we are ha standing strong. I'm really pleased, actually, because it's... No, it's not the same as a Horde Knight. I'm not even going to pretend it's the same as a Horde Knight. But what it means is I'm feeling a bit more confident about knights now. About doing what I need to do, digging and all that. My base is going to protect me. Went into the corner here. So I'm going to get this dug out. I'm going to use the base layer um, for forges and such simply because I will run mines down and under. So I won't have the forges on the base layer. I'm then obviously going to have sort of a living layer and then a top sort of bunk area at the top. So it's just going to be like a three tiered tower essentially. Sometimes or quite often when I, I do this game I'll dig down from a central point like this and then I'll expand the whole base out and I'll do the whole base underground but I think let's let's have upstairs let's have some pretty windows let's you know let's do that let's make it pretty I And with that daylight chime, it means day six has begun and day five has ended. So we're going to leave this part here. If you have enjoyed yourself, please do give us a like and a subscribe. It really does help the channel. And hopefully we'll see you with the next part. Keep a lookout for the Rebuild series and the other games that we have been playing. See you all next time.